Hello and welcome to another 2017-2018 individual Blackburn Rovers player review. In each one of these special one-off videos, we're going to look back on each one of the senior players who pulled on the mighty blue and white this season. We're going to scrutinise their effort and grade their overall performance. And in this episode, we're going to review Paul Callis. <laughs> Mr. Callis was yet another one of Tony Mowbray's additions this season as we look for some cover for our wobbly right back position. Callis, who is most often remembered for his time at Birmingham, nearly joined Rovers this season before when we were managed by that halfwit Owen Coyle. Upon his arrival, he was made to fight it out for the right back position and was always second fiddle behind a young and hungry Ryan Nayimbi. Despite that, he was eventually given some game time when Nayimbi became injured. When he was given the opportunity to start, unfortunately, Callis failed to shine performing on a subpar level for the majority of his appearances. Now don't get me wrong, he was a capable right back and showed glimmers of talent, however, it was a step backwards in regards to quality when Callis' name was on the team sheet. Now that the season has come to an end, there are only a few positions available within the first team squad of Blackburn Rovers, and I feel Callis will have his hands full if he's going to make the grade and stick around this season. Now, football's a nasty business, and I have nothing against Paul as a person. However, the harsh reality is Rovers need to bring in the quality, hungry, raw talent that can help us kick on next season, as we can't afford to spend any more time back in League One. Now, with all that being said, as for Cas' season rating, there were some highlights, but the numbers that matter are not good enough for me, and uh, I am being a little kind here. I'm going to give him a C- minus for his efforts. So let's take a look now at Paul Caddis' statistics for this season. All in all, he was involved in 44 matches this season. That probably includes time on the bench. Um, uh, he did not score any goals this season. He was involved in six clean sheets. However, in this 44 matches that he was involved in, he actually let in 18 goals, which averages around about 0.4 goals per match. All in all, uh, it also translates to about, about every 91 minutes he lets in a goal. Um, so that's not these are not good numbers. It does not does not equate to good mathematics. He was also involved in 41% of all possible playing time this season. So he was looked looked over for selection. It looks like, and he was involved in a substitute on once, brought off three times. So what about his League One performances for Rovers this season? He was involved in 14 games, six wins, four draws, and four defeats. Uh, again, no goals scored. All in all, he was he played 1,097 minutes of first team football, and just look at that. Last last five games, three three draws and two defeats. So basically, that translates to five games without a win. He's only won one game in the previous six games. He's drawn three of the previous four games. Uh, he's lost three out of the previous 13 games. Uh, boring statistic here, 14 games without a goal. Uh, it's actually gone four games. Uh, he went on a four-game winning streak with Rovers, uh, losing one game in succession. Um, but he also went on a four-game uh, run without a defeat, which probably translates to this. So, same old, same old. So, he was uh, selected early doors. Um, but, I guess the form against Plymouth, uh, Oldham... Yeah, it just didn't it just didn't work out for Caddis this season. Um, yeah, the future probably lies elsewhere for this chap. Well, that's your lot, folks. If you've enjoyed this review, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And also, you can join me right back here tomorrow for yet another 2017-2018 individual Blackburn Rovers player review.